I'm Sage over at Sage Music and today I want to show you how to choose a guitar based on the body size or the body type. Uh, if you've already known uh, that you're going to choose an acoustic guitar to play uh, and you know the guitar is structurally sound, you might want to now start choosing between different shapes. Uh, today Gary over at Chigar Music has brought me a few different guitars all made by Larave. They all have spruce tops and mahogany back and sides and again same maker, same woods but different shapes. and. Um, that should give us a fairly good test to see how the body size or the body shape affects the sound. Over here on my right or your left is a OM model by Larave. Uh, here on my left or your right is the uh, Model L by Larave, which is the equivalent of the concert model and other guitar brands. And over here is a Dreadnought. Uh, before we get started, uh, I'll just give you my sort of uh, synopsis and then you can hear for yourself. Uh, the OM is very balanced in sound, it projects very well, meaning that uh, the strings or all the notes you play on guitar are roughly the same volume, like the low notes and the high notes are essentially the same volume uh, and it's well balanced with mids and the sound basically shoots out from the guitar and is very clear and direct. Over here on the left is uh, the Dreadnought, uh, which has a much heavier bass response. Uh, so it's not as balanced, but it's much more rich and full, and the sound sort of spreads out all around from the guitar. So depending on the situation, uh, you might choose a Dreadnought to accompany a singer, uh, you might choose an OM if you're playing fingerstyle or a solo gig, and uh, if you do a little bit of both and have only the budget for one guitar, maybe you pick this concert model, which is somewhere in between the two. So now let's just listen to all three. I'm going to start by playing a scale on the OM. Again, very balanced and clear and projecting sound. That's it. Let's try now the same thing on the uh, Dreadnought. All right, this is the one that has the biggest bass response. And now let's try the concert model, which is right in between the two. So I hope you can hear that difference in, in bass response and clarity on those three guitars. It's going to be a little more obvious now when I start uh, strumming some chords. So let's do that test next. Here on the OM, you're going to hear all the strings uh, pretty much in equal volume to one another. It's going to be bright and it's going to be clear, uh, but it's not going to have the same robust fullness as the Dreadnought. So here is the OM strumming, balanced and clear. Now the Dreadnought, which has the biggest bass response, um, but also gets this uh, really rich full sound, which I think is really desirable when strumming to accompany singers, or accompany yourself if you sing. And right in between the two is going to be our concert model. Okay, and for our last test of sound, I'm going to do a little bit of finger style. I'm going to choose a classical piece by Carcassi. It's from his Opus 60. It's kind of popular among classical guitarists, and I'll play just the first few bars. Get rid of my pick there, and now let's try the OM. Uh, I think this guitar is best suited for this sort of music. And it sounds like this. clear and balanced again and let's try it now on the dreadnought again 
it's a full rich sound, but I feel like those basses sort of overpower the trebles just a little bit. And lastly, here is the concert model in between. Okay, so in conclusion, just as I would suggest that you pick uh, either an acoustic or a classical or an electric guitar based upon the style of music that you want to play, uh, once you've settled on an acoustic guitar, you should pick the acoustic guitar that best suits the style of acoustic guitar that you want to play most. Uh, strumming and accompanying yourself as a singer uh, might be the Dreadnought, if you're playing finger style that might be the OM, and if you want to do a little bit of both, maybe you sell for something in the middle like uh, this concert model here. So again, thanks to Gary at Jagar Music for bringing the guitars over, and we'll see you next time.